In this video, I will talk about the Kabul Kandahar Highway. What is the condition of this highway, and how was this highway built, and how was it destroyed? Kabul Kandahar Highway, this vital communication road in the heart of Afghanistan, which covers more than 483 kilometers from Dasht Barchi Kabul to Ainu Mina Kandahar, forms the most important part of the country's road network. Due to its geographical location, this highway, in addition to the connection between the two cities of Kabul and Kandahar, also connects many different provinces of Afghanistan and commercial traffic with the ports of Chaman, Islam Kala, Turgandi, and other ports. The reconstruction project of this road is very important because it will have a positive impact on the economy and development of Afghanistan by facilitating transportation and reducing travel time from Kabul to Kandahar to a significant extent. By carrying out bitumen and reconstruction works on this road, we hope that a brighter future will emerge for the people of Afghanistan and that this communication road will become the focus of the country's development and progress. Kabul Kandahar Highway is a connecting road between the cities of Kabul and Kandahar in Afghanistan. This highway, which is 483 kilometers long, is part of Afghanistan's Ring Highway, and it starts from Dasht Barchi, Kabul, and passes through Maidanshar, Siedabad, Ghazni, and Kalat until it reaches Ainu Mina, Kandahar. This highway is a key part of Afghanistan's national highway system. The entire highway between Kabul and Kandahar does not have any mountain passes, but in some places, there are many mountains nearby. Approximately 35% of Afghanistan's population lives within 50 kilometers from Kabul to Kandahar on the Afghanistan Ring Road. The construction work of a part of the Kabul Kandahar Highway which covers more than 27 kilometers, was opened at the cost of 800 million Afghanis. For the reconstruction of each kilometer, up to $120,000 will be needed. Kabul Kandahar Road is 483 kilometers long, and there are 46 bridges and 17 16 culverts on this road, and its width is 10 meters. The Kabul Kandahar Highway was designed and asphalted in the 1960s by Afghan and American engineers under a contract with the United States International Cooperation Agency. This project happened while the Soviet Union and the United States were expanding their influence in Afghanistan. In those years, the highways were mostly used by trucks and buses as there were very few private vehicles compared to today. In the 1980s, in addition to trucks and private vehicles, Soviet military convoys commonly traveled between Kabul and Kandahar. This highway was tarred about 20 years ago, worth $190 million with the help of Japan, America, and Saudi Arabia. The renovation project was carried out by Lewis Berger Group Engineering Company with assistance in planning and design by Turkish and Indian engineers. Asphalt Phase 1 was completed in December 2003, and the highway was open to vehicular traffic. In 2022, the Afghan government decided to rebuild and repair the highway. Soon, the work started in different provinces of the country through which the highway passed. The construction of a toll plaza in Kabul province started at the end of 2022, and another toll plaza was supposed to be built in Kandahar province. Dasht Barchi Bus Company provides transportation services to Maiden Wardak, Bamyan, Ghazni, Daikundi, and Gore provinces. There is another such terminal in Ainu Mina Kandahar, and one in the western end of that city, which provides bus services to Lashkarga, Zaranj, Farah, and Herat. The Ministry of Public Works of the Taliban government says that it will rebuild the Kabul Kandahar Highway in exchange for the awarding of mining contracts to domestic construction companies. This highway was tarred about 20 years ago at a cost of $190 million with the help of Japan, America, and Saudi Arabia. But many parts of it were destroyed due to the explosion of mines planted by the Taliban, the passage of heavy tonnage vehicles, 
and the lack of maintenance and care. In some reports, quoting the statistics of the Ministry of Public Works of the former government of Afghanistan, it is said that nearly 200 bridges and culverts along the Kabul-Kandahar Highway were destroyed by the Taliban with mine explosions. The Taliban government announced in 2023, which will rebuild the Kabul-Kandahar and Kandahar-Herat highways. The Ministry of Public Works of the Taliban said at that time that this highway will be rebuilt from the domestic budget within five months by nine domestic companies. People who are on the Kabul-Kandahar Highway say that many parts of this highway have been destroyed for the purpose of restoration, but the reconstruction work is progressing slowly, due to which the passengers and drivers of this road are facing many problems. At present, big engines reach from Kabul to Kandahar in 48 hours, but if this road is reconstructed, they can travel this long way in 10 hours. It is assumed that the contract was awarded by the Ministry of Public Works. The Kabul-Kandahar Highway, which is considered one of the important transit routes, connects not only several provinces, but also Kabul with the central provinces and the southern and western regions, and thousands of commercial lorry daily from the ports of Chaman, Islam Kala, Turghandi, and other ports. The highway passes by. As a result, the Kabul-Kandahar Highway is a very vital and strategic communication route in the heart of Afghanistan, which not only connects the two important cities of Kabul and Kandahar, but also connects different provinces of Afghanistan and the transit of goods and commercial traffic from ports. It facilitates such important as Chaman, Islam Kala, and Turgandi. The reconstruction and repair of this road is very important for the development and economy of Afghanistan and facilitates transportation and reduces travel time from Kabul to Kandahar. We hope that by carrying out bitumen and reconstruction works on this road, a brighter future will be created for the people of Afghanistan and that this communication road will become the focus of the country's development and progress. Also, the decision to rebuild this road and other highways shows the commitment to the economic development of Afghanistan, which we hope will lead to the improvement of the living conditions of the people of this country. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel to be aware of our new videos. Until the next video, I leave you to God.